What is the solubility of sodium nitrate in 100 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius? Well, here's sodium nitrate. It's in 100 grams of water, and we're at 20 degrees Celsius, which is right there. So to find the solubility, we just go up to the sodium nitrate line, and wherever that intersects the y-axis, at about 88 grams, that will be the solubility of the sodium nitrate at that temperature. If we raise the temperature to 30, would increase our solubility to about 96 grams. If we raise the temperature to 40 degrees, we'd raise the solubility to about 104 grams. So solubility is how many grams can dissolve at a certain temperature in a certain amount of water. Now if we had 200 grams of water, 200 grams is twice as many grams. So if 88 can dissolve in 100, how many can dissolve in 200? Just set it up as a simple ratio, 186. 176 grams, or twice as much. And if we had 50 grams of water, half as much water, we'd be able to dissolve half as much solute, 44 grams. If you match up the grams and the temperature and you end up underneath the line at any given temperature, it would be an unsaturated solution. I'd like you to picture a restaurant. This restaurant can hold 100 people in it. If 100 people show up, then they're going to saturate the restaurant. Nobody else can go in until somebody leaves. Let's say only 30 people show up to lunch. Then the restaurant is unsaturated. You can still fit 70 more people before all the chairs are full. Let's suppose 120 people show up for lunch. 20 people are going to have to get those stupid little buzzers and wait outside because the restaurant would now be super saturated and therefore can't hold any more. The excess, which we call the precipitate, has to wait outside for other people to be finished. Line represents a saturated solution at any given temperature. Above the line is super saturated and the excess precipitates. Below the line is unsaturated and more can be put in. If we have 100 grams of water and 90 grams of potassium nitrate, KNO3 line, at 40 degrees Celsius, let's see, 90 grams at 40 degrees Celsius would be here. Now the KNO3 line crosses 40 degrees Celsius here. That means this solution is super saturated and 10, 20, 26 grams worth will precipitate out. Super saturated, 26 grams of precipitate. Why? Because at this temperature, the solution can only hold 65 grams worth of potassium nitrate, but 90 have shown up to be dissolved. The excess precipitates out. 10 grams of potassium chlorate in 100 grams of water at 60 degrees Celsius puts us right here. potassium chlorate line is up here at that temperature. Because there's fewer grams of potassium chlorate than can be dissolved at that temperature, it's unsaturated. And that means we can add more. How much more? 10, about 18 grams more can be added to make it a saturated solution. Let's say we have 10 grams of sodium nitrate at 80 degrees Celsius. 10 grams, 80 degrees Celsius. That puts us right there. The sodium nitrate line is way up there at 80 degrees Celsius. This is majorly unsaturated. We can add another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, about another 136 grams unsaturated add about 136 grams to make it saturated. That is one monster unsaturated solution. Here's some other things you can do with table G. At what temperature do KClO3 and NH3 have the same solubility? Well, KClO3 line is this line here. And the NH3 line is this line here. So they have the same solubility where they intersect. What temperature is that? We drop a line down, 
looks like about 56 degrees Celsius. What is the solubility of ammonia in 50 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius? 20 degrees Celsius. Now if we want the solubility, we want to know how many grams to make it saturated. So let's see, 20 degrees Celsius, NH3 line at 20 is up here. That looks like about 56 grams worth. But remember, that's in 100 grams of water. 56 is to 100 as X is to the 50 grams of water. Half as much water, half as much stuff can dissolve. 28 grams can make it saturated in 50 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius. A solution contains 80 grams of KNO3 in 100 grams of water. It's unsaturated at 60 degrees Celsius. To what temperature must a solution be lowered to make it saturated? Well, let's see, 80 grams at 60 degrees Celsius. 80 grams and 60 degrees Celsius puts it here. And yeah, at 60 degrees Celsius, it is below the KNO3 line. But it says, to what temperature must the solution be lowered to make it saturated? Now, temperature is this axis here. So if we're going to lower the temperature, we're going to lower the temperature until we hit the KNO3 line. It says, to what temperature? So what temperature is that? About 47 degrees Celsius. So basically, at the question it asked, by how many degrees must you lower it, then you could say you can lower it by about 13 degrees. This says to what temperature must you lower it, so you lower it to 47 degrees. A saturated solution of ammonium chloride at 80 degrees is cooled to 40. How many grams of an H4Cl will precipitate out? So let's see, we're saturated at 80 degrees Celsius, ammonium chloride, that puts it right here. Okay, and let's see, that looks like it's about 67 grams at that temperature. Now we're going to cool it down to 40 degrees. 40 degrees. Now we're still going to have the same number of grams, but notice at 40 degrees Celsius, ammonium chloride is less soluble. You can only dissolve about 47 grams. Well, that's sort of like saying I've got a restaurant with 67 seats and now we only have 47 seats. How many people have to leave the restaurant? How many grams are going to precipitate out? Well, if we could dissolve 67 before and now we can only dissolve 47, the difference or about 20 grams will precipitate out. What salt is most soluble at 20 degrees? Well, the salts are the curves that go up. So let's see, that's the least soluble one. We want the most soluble one. Boom, Ki, potassium iodide is most soluble at 20. Which gas is least soluble at 70? The gases are the curves that go down. We only have three of those. We've got HCl, we've got NH3, and we've got SO2. It says which one is least soluble at 70? So here's 70. <gasps> The first thing we reach is the SO2 line. That is the least soluble gas, SO2. A solution contains 100 grams of KNO3 and it's at 100 grams of water and it's super saturated at 30. Well, let's see if that's true. 100 grams of 30 is right here. Here's the KNO3 line. Yeah, absolutely. It is super saturated. By how many degrees must the temperature increase to dissolve the excess solute? So let's see, we have to raise the temperature until we reach the KNO3 line. This time it doesn't say to what temperature, it says by how many degrees. 10, 20, about 27 degrees we have to raise it to make it saturated and dissolve the excess solute. What's the solubility of KCl in 400 grams of water at 50 degrees Celsius? Well, let's get information about 100 grams first and then we can find out about 400 grams. So let's see, 50 degrees Celsius, KCl, that's this line right here, KCl, see the arrow pointing to it, that's KCl, that's about 42 grams, right, about 42 grams, okay, 42 is 100, as what is to 400? 168 grams. Four times as much water, you can dissolve four times as much solute in it. And that's how you use reference table G, the solubility table.